closing day here at Safari Joe's H2O. Labor Day Monday. That's sad that it's got to be closing day, but it had to come at some point. And Safari Joe's H2O here in Tulsa, Oklahoma did not miss a single day of operation throughout the course of the entire year, other than for weather, of course, but not for any stupid corona problems. It makes me very thankful to be living in Tulsa. Be living in a city, in a state where things can, at least something can kind of feel like normal. We have our trapdoor slide up there. I had no light for it, that's weird. The park is, the park is pretty crowded today. Got these slides right here. Those are a lot of fun too. These are only 36 inch height requirement, so you got little ones. As long as they're 36 inches, they can ride these. It's rare to find slides of this height that 36 inch kid could ride. These are 48 inches though. The yellow one is the trapdoor slide. And then of course you got the other, the two green ones that one goes, one does the immediate drop, the other one goes out and then down. And of course the wave pool, the water coaster over there. And the lazy river kind of goes around the water coaster and the activity pool, Look, most of it hidden by the trees. Downtown Tulsa. The fairgrounds, which will be a vacant lot this year. That's sad, especially since amusement parks are able to open in Oklahoma, so why not the fair? Okay, here's a way to make sure everyone's washing their hands. Just pour soap all over them. We got a DJ up here. Got the grill, we got a bar. So yeah, if you like an adult beverage, we got them here. And occasionally we do the foam party. And if you prefer to be away from the noise of the DJ and all that, you want to set up over here at the activity pool. It's quieter here. If that's what you prefer, this is usually where I set up. And I'm not here to tell anyone how to think, but I just want to point out the playground equipment at the water park has been open all summer long, and there is not a single coronavirus case reported from coming from visiting this water park. Not again, not telling you how to think, just making that point. You see over there we have the diving platform, got some small slides and a climbing wall. <laughs>
What is wrong, Jackie? <laughs> Yes, Hi, Shorty. Hi, Shorty. Hi, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Listen, hi. 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 Pretty birdie. Pretty birdie. Hi. 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 Pretty birdie. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Pretty birdie. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, how Hello. are you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Pretty birdie. Leave him alone. Hands off. Pretty birdie. Hi, pretty birdie. Hi. Pretty birdie. Pretty birdie. Pretty birdie. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, pretty birdie. Hello. 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 Well, it had to end sometime. Closing day at Safari Joe's H2O. It's been a great summer, and don't get me wrong, I realize how blessed I am to live in Oklahoma, to live in Tulsa, where a water park could open on time, and I could have the entire summer to enjoy my home park. I know that that is not the story for most of you, and I definitely feel for you, but just hang in there. Um, living here with an open park all summer, this has been such a blessing, and I'm very thankful to the park for opening their gates, and I'm looking forward to next year. I wish this wasn't just a water park, because that makes for a short season. Labor Day Monday, and the park's already closed, so I'll have to travel to visit any park in between now and Memorial Day weekend. But I count myself blessed that my park opened and was open all season. I cannot thank the staff enough. Thank you to all the lifeguards, the food service staff, Susie, the cleaning crew, ticket sales reps, everyone who had a part in making this amazing 2020 season happen. We got to appreciate that this park didn't just phone it in for the season. A lot of parks that open their gates are just phoning it in for 2020, which is understandable. But our water park here in Tulsa didn't just phone it in. They actually stepped it up. They were doing magic shows. You saw the Daredevil duo with a woman getting shot out of a cannon. They had a DJ, a phone party, concert on Sunday, a lively atmosphere. I hope the season was a financial success for the water park because they definitely deserve it. And now, just got to count down the days until opening day 2021.